Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. Now, what a busy weekend of football we have this weekend, as it is the final day here in England for the WSL. This Sunday we also have uh, the second to last set of games over in France. We have the penultimate weekend over in Spain and Germany. Uh, so we have a good set of fixtures to look forward to this weekend. And obviously there has been a lot of news this week. So uh, on Monday after we put our video out, there was the announcement of Karen Bardsley's retirement. Uh, Jisoo Yun leaving Chelsea and Drew Spence also to be leaving Chelsea uh, at the end of this season so some big departures from the WSL but it'll be interesting to see how Chelsea go about changing their uh, old guard into some new younger players in the summer obviously you can keep up to date with everything that happens this summer here on the channel um, elsewhere, there has been a new contract announcement for Arsenal manager Jonas Eideval. Uh, Eideval has signed a contract extension until the summer of 2024. So um, he's obviously coming to the end of his first season this weekend. Uh, been a fairly good season, obviously. Got to the quarterfinals of the Champions League, got to the semi-finals of the FA Cup and could still potentially win the WSL title this weekend with a victory. So that's good news there, and there's obviously been a lot of other contract news, which you can find out on our Instagram page and our Twitter page, uh, which we'll leave a link to in the bio uh, down below. So let's have a look at the games that we have this weekend in the final day of action here in the England and the WSL. So it's obviously the two games we're going to be focusing on mainly are West Ham versus Arsenal and Chelsea Manchester United. So heading into this final weekend, Chelsea do have a one point gap over Arsenal, 53 to 52 points respectively. Chelsea know any sort of point or victory will secure them a WSL title for a consecutive year. However, Arsenal can win the title if they win and Chelsea drop points against Manchester United. Now, obviously, Manchester United themselves, they potentially could still get third place and secure that final Champions League spot because Manchester City take on Reading and whilst there's two points over the, the gap if if obviously Reading were to beat Manchester City and Man United were to beat Chelsea then Man United would get that third and final Champions League spot and Arsenal would obviously then become champions should they beat West Ham so it's a lot to look forward to in these games uh, all games kicking off at 12 p.m UK time um, so 1 o'clock Central European time and it's going to be an absolute cracker of a weekend of football especially those two games that we spoke about um, obviously relegation was confirmed in midweek for Birmingham City after they were thumped 6-0 by Manchester City uh, so they will finish on um, bottom of this FA Women's Super League and will be relegated to the FA Women's Championship playing next season so uh, the rest of the league isn't really much to play for. A few positions can change here and there in terms of like Tottenham, West Ham, Brighton and Reading can all change positions and potentially have Everton and Aston Villa swap between them. But apart from that, the main focus of this weekend is of course at the top where teams are fighting for the title and that final Champions League spot. Right, let's head into Europe now and we'll have a look at the penultimate set of fixtures in the Primera Iberdrola. Barcelona, they travel to Rayo Vallecano on Sunday following their 5-1 victory on uh, Thursday against Sevilla and they are set to go the whole season unbeaten having won 28 games out of 28 and scored 151 and conceded just the 9 so far so two more games for Barcelona to go unbeaten in the Primera Iberdrola this season I may stress because obviously they lost to Wolfsburg last weekend uh, to end their unbeaten run Elsewhere, uh, on Saturday, we've just got the one game as Alaves take on Athletic Club Bilbao, and then the rest of the fixtures take place on Sunday. So Villarreal play Real Betis, Valencia Real Madrid, Sevilla Sporting Club of Huela, Grenadilla Tenerife versus Real Sociedad, Atletico Madrid Ibar, and Madrid CFF versus Levante are your fixtures over in Spain. We also head into the penultimate weekend in Germany with one game tonight uh, as Bayer Leverkusen take on Bayern Munich at quarter past six UK time, so that's quarter past seven Central European time. And then one game on Saturday as Tabina Potsdam take on Eintracht Frankfurt. And then the rest of the games on Sunday sees Freiburg take on SGS Essen, SC San take on SC Cologne, Carl Zeiss Jena take on Wolfsburg and Werder Bremen take on Hoffenheim. Now Wolfsburg, obviously, they are on the cusp of becoming league champions 
and I believe uh, this win this weekend will all but, if not crown them champions of the Frauen Bundesliga after a fantastic season under Tommy Strutz. Uh, so it would be thoroughly deserved for VfL Wolfsburg. Then in the Eric de Fies, they found there's two games tonight and two games on Sunday. Tonight's game, see Den Haag take on FC20, VV Alkmaar take on Excelsior Barendrecht, and then on Sunday, Ajax take on Pexvall and PSV take on Feyenoord. Over in Italy this weekend, again, we're coming to the penultimate set of fixtures. So we have uh, three games taking place on Saturday and three on Sunday. So Saturday's game, see Roma take on Sampdoria, Inter Milan take on AC Milan, Juventus take on Sassuolo. So some very good games to watch on Saturday over in Italy. And then on Sunday, Hellas Verona, Lazio, Empoli, Napoli and Pomigliano versus Fiorentina are your Sunday games. And then finally, over in France this weekend, again, it's... Uh, not the penultimate weekend, but penultimate, but one in France. Uh, majority of the fixtures take place tomorrow, apart from one that's on Sunday. So Saturday sees Montpellier versus Soyo Charente, Guingon versus Dijon, Issy FF versus Fleury 91, Stade Rennes versus Saint Etienne, Bordeaux versus Paris Saint Germain, which is obviously the uh, big fixture in France this weekend, and then Lyon versus Paris FC, again another big fixture, as that is first versus third. So some cracking games to look forward to in Europe this weekend, and finally it is the NWSL Challenge Cup final on uh, Saturday between the North Carolina Courage and the Washington Spirit, after both teams won uh, on Wednesday to book their place in the final. So again, another cracking game. And obviously Chris Ward's side will be hoping to complete a technical double but um, first trophy of the new season. Obviously winning the NWSL Cup, uh, NWSL League last season. So it's going to be some very good games this weekend. So a reminder, it's the final of the Premier League. Penultimate weekend in France. No, penultimate but one weekend in France. Penultimate weekend in Germany and Spain and Italy and uh, obviously the big big games happening here in England the title challenge Arsenal versus West Ham Manchester United versus Chelsea Arsenal and Chelsea fighting for that title Manchester United could still get third if um, Reading beat Manchester City right that is all we have time for today we'll be back at the start of next week to review all of the uh, weekend's results and talking points and who is crowned at the champions of the WSL and another video we will have out for you next week is my own personal team of the season from the WSL so you've got all that to look forward to next week make sure you like comment and subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video of ours and we will see you next time mm -hmm.